okay are you ready to listen about how can you identify your procrastination yes. are you ready yes. are you interested to understand why all the students are getting procrastinated every day and each time yes, sir. do you want to know about it yes, okay sir. so right now i want to tell you one of the mesmerizing and one of the magnanimous and astounding uh, thought i want to represent over here okay the thought is that or i can say is a one line which can change your life drastically and dramatically i have seen more than 90% students they are always procrastinated every time why they are procrastinated because they don't understand what would be the importance of time and because of this reason every day they are procrastinating the thing now the question is what does procrastination means procrastination means you unnecessarily delay your work or tasks this is known as procrastination are you getting me yes or no yes, yes. so now why it has been happening or why it has been conducting with us each and every time we need to understand we need to identify why every day and each time it is happening with us what is the reason behind it we need to understand about it the first reason is we always think right mood and right time when my mood will be good then i will study yes or no yes, sir. sometimes this kind of belief system already been made in yourself you think that when the mood will be fine my mood will be good then i will study yes or no it is it is happen or not most of the time it happen that when my mood is is good then i am going for study but always you keep it in your mind never ever in your life you will not feel right mood never in your life this situation will not appear will not come this way that you feel good mood you are in a good mood never you think like this if you feel that when my mood will be good i will study that means you are deteriorating yourself that means you are destructing your own life that means you are collapsing your own life so don't wait for right mood or right time always you have to study if the mood is not good you have to study suppose right now you don't have any mood but also you have to study yes or no are yes or no yes, so this would be working for all of all of us because if you think when my mood will be good then i will study that means you are what you are doing you are destroying your life so don't wait for right mood and right time whenever you get the opportunity to study you have to study okay don't wait for right time don't wait for right mood if it is a time for study which is given which which was given to me so you have to study and if you wait for right mood and right time that means you are collapsing your life you always feel depressed sometimes you always feel desperate and unhappy are you getting it so that's the reason we should not wait ourselves for right mood and right time whenever you get time you have to study got it the second point last but not the least the second point which is really important most of the cases i have seen especially those who are the senior student those who are studying in class 11 and 12 most of the time they are busy for their low priority tasks and what does low priority tasks low priority tasks means suppose right now what is the importance suppose in class 11 you have to get some subject like science arts and commerce suppose you are in arts subject you are in science subject or you are in commerce okay what happen most of the time i have seen that those who are the studying in class 11 12 they are they are working or they are doing some unnecessary tasks that means they are not involved themselves in their main course or main tasks they always busy unnecessary tasks like 
like uh, they are chatting with their friends yes or no they are doing some activity which cannot applicable for the society so this kind of work already been done by the senior student so uh, that is the reason i am telling to you always you have to give your importance in your priority tasks priority means the important tasks when you finish your important tasks that means when you uh, suppose right now uh, you are sitting in front of me when you go at your home you have to make a list what what you have to make a list that what is the most most important task for you today suppose today right now i have to study english then i have to study science then i have to study the mathematics then i have to study the history geography like this way you have to make a table okay after making this table then you have to think that which subject i like the most which subject i like the most and when you decided that this subject i like the most you have to write them in the first position okay after completion that means when you write this all those prior, that means when you make the list according to priority basics then you can understand that um, how much time i am going to give you in this subject how much time i should give you in this subject how much time i should give you in this subject if you study in this way your life will be drastically and dramatically changed but the fact is that most of the student they are putting their efforts their time in their low priority tax that is the reason most of the cases that became unsuccessful got it so today i have told you two aspect i have addressed on how many matters two aspect one is that don't wait for right mood and right time if mood is good study if your mood is not there so also you have to study don't wait for time also if you wait for time that means you are you are devastating your life you are dilapidating your life you are lagging behind yourself so don't wait for right mood and right time and also one thing don't write the low priority tasks in your list always write the most important tasks in your list if you do it then you feel something good and your life will be drastically and dramatically changed have you understood so thank you for today have a good day wish you all the best thank you bye bye tata